God damn, man. Just woke up. <laughs> Seeing Kanye West album was out. I said, fuck it. You can only listen to this a couple times for quick since it's a short album. You know, second songs. Hey, shit, I'm listening to this real quick. Shit, well, actually pretty tight, even though I slick hate to listen to Kanye right now. But I did anyway, whatever, you know, he was talking about all this, this makeup, all this Trump shit, all this goofy shit um, Kanye got going on. A lot of people ain't been fucking with him. I don't really fuck with him either now, but shit, I, I had to listen to the album at least a couple times. And shit, it was pretty dope to me. You know, it started off pretty dark. Damn song called, I thought I would kill you or whatever. Something like that. I'm like, whoa. But you know, I understand it. He actually got some pretty, good, you know, some decent bars. Then song, Yikes. I think that's the hit, you know. You know, if you were going for a radio hit or just, you know, whatever people will sing along to, I think that's the one. They fall off into, you know, his stage rant at the end. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> and then, you know, got the All My song. You know, it's a good little song. Pretty straight. The Wooden Leave song, I think, that's my favorite right there. That's my favorite. Make a grown man sob. Great song, real powerful. You know, Thug and Ty Dolla Sign, you know, duetting on the long chorus. It's just sound beautiful. That's my favorite song on the, plus I'm a heavy young Thug fan. <laughs> but yeah, that, no mistake, that, that's, a, that's a wedding song to me. This song, you know, can bring tears to your eyes too, man, if you got this special woman in your life. And, she make you feel some type of way. She be down with you. You know, never turn her back on you. Ups and downs. Broke, not broke. Honest, this song, you know, one of my favorites too. Real good song. Wedding song, I might get married to that. And then you got the Ghost Town song. It's alright. I ain't, I don't want to feel it like that, but to be honest, I don't even, I don't even know who's singing on it, but it's, it's a good song, though. It just, it had no, I don't know. It's a good song, though. Whoever's singing, they can sing real good. Hit notes, I, love, I like it, though. It's cool. And the violent, the violent crimes, you know, good bars. It was cool to hear Nikki at the end. When they were talking about it, I was thinking she going to have a verse. She just, you know. She didn't say nothing but a couple little words. I love Nikki, so I thought that was cool. But yeah, it was it was a pretty good album, you know. From Kanye West, you know, everybody expect top notch from him. And he delivered them, you know. It took what, like two or three years to make it. Or he just took two, three years off period, you know. You know, pretty collection of songs, seven songs like Pussy T. You know, they all come in with seven songs. You know, that's like opposite of what everybody doing. You know, the stream, everybody's streaming now. So they putting, you know, 12, 15, 18, 25 songs, you know, on one album so it can stream good. But see, he only did seven. But Kanye West is powerful, so. He gonna sell a lot, most likely anyway, without the streams. Without, you know, you know, 25 songs or some shit, like everybody else been dropping. And that's cool. And I actually wish I'd have heard at least, I wish at least three, three to five more songs on that, on the Yay Project. I think that would have been cool. But you know, we got seven, so we gotta live with seven. He got, you know, guest features on his artist project and he was just on the, what, this Travis Scott single. So there's plenty of Kanye West music out right now. You know, it's pretty cool. You know, yeah, he dropped a pretty cool album. 
I actually, you know, I love Kanye West. You're a real great artist. Great artist. I'm not a fan of him, you know. I can could, I could stop listening to him. But when I do listen to him, everything he makes is great to me. But, you know, I'm mostly, you know, I fuck him up. <laughs> yeah, man. I subscribe to this Marvel Thugging channel, man. Go get it, yeah, project to listen. Whether you fuck with him, agree with him or not, just still give this project a listen, because he still came West. Beside all this political shit, he's still a great artist, which is what it's about at the end of the day, not about who sides with who. Because, you know, everybody got different political opinions, and just politics and music, it, it's just different things. And that's why they usually... Musicians usually don't even bring up the politics or their beliefs or nothing. But yeah, it's a cool album. Y'all go check it out. I'll holler at you.